echoed also in Vigano's comments, my problem with Fratelli Tutti is that it's trying to unite all of mankind around our common human nature and Adam, and it doesn't introduce the supernatural life of grace that Christ instituted as the new Adam on the cross and resurrected. Now, that kind of brings us to the first point of Archbishop Vigano. He says that this encyclical lacks faith, hope, and charity. He also says that because it lacks faith, hope, and charity, it betrays the, twi this is him, betrays the twisted vision of this ideological manifesto that is in the service of the new world order. So Vigano sees this as a manifesto of the new world order. That means Vigano thinks very poorly of it. And then he goes on a couple paragraphs later. He says, Fratelli Tutti is an encyclical that not only lacks faith, but also hope and charity. The voice of, divine, of the divine shepherd and physician of souls does not echo in its language, but rather the rapacious wolf's growl or the mercenary's deafening silence, John 10.10. 10. There is no breath of love either for God or for man because in order to truly desire the good of modern man, it is necessary to wake him out of his hypnotic spell of do-goodery, ecologism, pacifism, ecumenism, and globalism. Ism, ism, ism. Vigano says, in a little bit lower, he says, I believe that this very sad Fratelli Tutti represents in a certain way the emptiness of a withered heart of a blind man deprived of supernatural sight who gropingly thinks he can give an answer that he himself first ignores. So what Vigano is saying here is, it's like what I said last week. If you don't, if you don't rally, if you rally around Adam and not Christ, you're not going to have the grace to really fulfill our true supernatural end as human persons. And of course, every time there's grace in the soul, there's faith, hope, and charity. That's a theological truth. He says, this document represents in a certain way the emptiness of a withered heart of a blind man deprived of supernatural sight. Is Vigano saying that Francis has a withered heart? Is he a blind man? Is he deprived of supernatural sight? who gropingly thinks he can give an answer that he himself first ignores. What is the answer? The answer, I think Vigano would say, he doesn't say right here, but he says the, the answer would be, as the vicar of Christ, the answer is Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin, crucified and risen again. You can't dialogue, dialogue, with a Jewish friend or a Muslim friend or a Hindu friend or an atheist friend, if you don't say the only answer is Jesus Christ and you should be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Any dialogue that doesn't have that statement is denying the answer. Once you take that off the table, what are you going to dialogue with, with all these different religions and persuasions? Well, the stuff you see in Fratelli Tutti. Let's just kind of all come together in a love huddle. It's 1968 all over again. Vigano says, I recognize that it is a sad and grave statement, but I think that more than asking ourselves about the orthodoxy of this document, we should ask ourselves, what is the state of a soul incapable of feeling any surge of charity or allowing himself to be touched by a divine ray shining into that gloomy grayness represented by his utopian transient dream closed to the grace of God? Essentially what Archbishop Vigano is saying here, he's saying, not only is the document not orthodox, he said, we should ask ourselves the state of the soul of the man who is incapable of feeling any surge of charity. Seems he's saying here that the author of the document is 
living in gloomy grayness, to use his word. Gloomy grayness. To date, I don't think Archbishop Vigano has ever said something that bold, that obvious, that direct against Pope Francis. Do you? Have you ever heard? I mean, I know some zingers that Vigano, I think I've read everything Vigano's ever published that's come in through English translation. I think I've I read the complete set, the exhaustive box set of Archbishop Vigano. That right there, that might be the biggest one. 